I'm a fiber artist, and um, what I do and what I enjoy doing most of all is creating art from recycled materials. I use a lot of things from thrift stores where I take the upcycled sweater coats, which take 15 to 25 sweaters that I cut apart and put back together again. I really love doing the big dresses, and a lot of these are, are created by using recycled materials or things that have been used in, in other projects. I like conceptual pieces the best. I've always loved art ever since I was a baby. I used to color my father's medical books. I've always had a love for art. I trained as a, as a registered dietitian, and it wasn't what I wanted to do. So I had an opportunity, I came back to Peoria, and um, I thought it's now or never. The reason I started doing fiber art is really multifaceted. I've always enjoyed working with my hands and using fiber. Fiber art is many things. It's not going to Walmart and picking out cheap yarn and knitting a baby blanket. Fiber art is anything using fibers. I remember when I lived in Europe seeing the magnificent tapestries hanging from castle walls. I mean, they were, I don't know, 40 feet by 20 feet. You think of the bio tapestry, you know, which takes up a whole room. There's just, there's just a lot. I have to create. I have to create or I would die. It's like breathing for me. And to do what I've done, I had to make some very, very difficult decisions, giving up a lucrative career, you know, totally changing. I've never had an art class in my life. So to do what I've done is, you have to be passionate. You have to be obsessive about it. I do this 18 hours a day, six days a week. It's all I do.